this does happen to us uh, because it happens more often than we think, right? I, I can't tell you how many patients, when I actually start asking the questions, have a traumatic story about birth, around birth, or even around reproductive health as they go to the doctor. The same treatment that you're talking about um, with your wife, where the communication is slightly condescending or patriarchal, where uh, things aren't really properly explained to you, you're made to kind of feel stupid or that you're uh, wasting that person's time. Um, when you bring complaints, you're not quite being believed, you're actually being dismissed. Um, those are things that, you know, I think for many of us who our first initial instinct is to not really try to cause any trouble or to, because, right, because there's a huge power dynamic, right, between a doctor and a patient, and you don't want to in any way uh, compromise that relationship, right? So, and, and it's set up that way, right? Where medicine, there's a power differential. So you're kind of already starting at that point. Um, but I think in many cases we're made to believe, you know, this is in our heads, like it's not a real thing that it's made up. But when you really start to look at, you know, what are some of the drivers behind this behavior? And, and then also on the other hand, looking at, you know, how is it that we're faring in terms of our health outcomes, in terms of our birth outcomes? And when you're really looking closely at the numbers, you see that there's very, very stark disparities. And, and as you touched on, irrespective of income, irrespective of educational level, irrespective of your insurance status, you can have access to the best doctors, the best resources in the healthcare system, and this still be a bad outcome for you. So, and there are studies in the medical literature that really show that the underlying factors to, for this is really systemic and interpersonal racism by it, implicit bias, um, interpersonal bias that, that mediates that. Um, yes, it is the doctors themselves, the providers themselves that, you know, those of us that are physicians are trained in a specific model that's very different from midwives, right? We have to remember that, especially as physicians, sometimes we forget that uh, Black midwifery was really the start of childbirth in this country, that it was really us, you know, our community that brought forth these tenets of how babies should be brought into the world in a more holistic manner, right? It was really these Black midwives that were attending the births of, of white children and also of, of Black children as well. So we have to remember that obstetrics really came after that, right? And that tradition of birthing is very much rooted in uh, a very patriarchal uh, tradition and in some cases um, is tainted with white supremacy. So when you kind of just think about that, those things on a basic level, um, you can kind of start to kind of parse away why this is happening.